hey this is Kev from Mindful Mods, uh, thanks for coming back. I'm doing a quick unboxing uh, and review today of this pedal board. Uh, I'm going to say immediately, and you'll see why in a minute, I'm very dissatisfied with this product. I ordered it on Wish, the first time I've ever ordered anything on Wish, uh, and I'm already peed off. So, good going. I don't know if it's, it's not necessarily Wish's fault, but the... Um, Seller badly advertised it. Okay, so let's quickly have a look at what we've got here. So this cost me 49 euros, including postage and packing. Sorry for the noise, I live next to a busy road. And it's summer, so I've got the windows open. Um, yeah, 49 euros of postage and packing. For a pedal board with a carry case, that looks quite sturdy in the pictures. Uh, I thought that was quite good value, so I ordered it. Also wanted to test Wish. So, as you can see, no carry case. So if I want to gig with this, I'm going to have to make my own carry case. brand is Rock House. It's advertised with a Rock House bag to go with it and comes with nothing of the sort. So it's, I have to check the description, but I thought it was advertised as being metal. It's plastic, um, reasonably sturdy construction. Um, does have a kind of riser here for the two lots of pedals and you've got a space here for a, a wire pedal if you want to use or an expression pedal if you want to use that so you know as design goes not too bad there's something in there so I'm going to get a screwdriver okay so we have a cover here which looks to be potentially the only metal piece of the board screws out the bolts actually little tiny ones let's see what we've got inside I guess this is where your power supply would go Have a look. Okay, so that comes off there. It comes with some more tape, which is going to be for your pedals, I guess. And one long piece of the softer side of the hook and screw tape, whatever you call it. Uh, and I'm looking to see if there's anywhere to put a power supply. And the answer to that is no, unless I, I suppose I could Velcro it to the back of this and have it in there, assuming it will fit. So it has many good features. It has some holes here for here and at the back for um, cables to come out of. Um, it's basically not a bad design. It does feel quite sturdy. I, um, I'll be able to stamp on that, no problem. But don't advertise something with a bag and send it without a bag. I could have got a better board probably for that money if I just wanted a board. So just a slight update, having looked at the product description, it gives a description of the bag. And then in underneath that, right at the bottom, it has something that says package includes the board. So it's got pictures, I'll post them, pictures everywhere of the board with a bag uh, and it even mentions the cloth type of the bag in the item description but in the package, you have to be careful because in the what it says is package includes the board. So um, I obviously didn't read that far down. Um, it was advertised as being a plastic board so that was my mistake. 
Um, but yeah, it's an extremely um, devious um, product description there. So um, anyway, I've gone. I've written to Wish and I've asked them to get the seller to send me the bag by priority delivery. And if they do that, then fine. But um, yeah, there we go. We'll see. Maybe if they send me the bag, I'm I'm not going to post this. But if I posted it, it's because they haven't sent me the bag. Okay. As you've probably realized uh, from the photos uh, and from the fact that I'm talking to you now I've had a sort of less than positive experience with Wish about the the product so um, I think in hindsight a plastic board without a case for 50 euros is a um, bit of a rip-off and um, aside from that the the advert as you've seen um, is very heavy on the uh, on the case so I think is for, for uh, not so much that one of the sellers obviously clearly misled customers that's not I suppose the thing that surprised me uh, what has surprised me um, you know I'm used to dealing with Amazon I suppose is that having realized clearly that there's a problem with one of the sellers that wish I just not prepared to do anything about it. They refer me back again and again to this one uh, sentence in the product description uh, and don't acknowledge at all that there was any misleading <coughs> advertising of the product, any misleading representation of the product, which clearly there was. So um, it's a shame to say it, but I'm, I've deleted the app from my phone and um, I'm not planning to order anything from wish again. Um, because I don't want to be associated with a company that refuses to acknowledge sort of malpractice uh, on behalf of their sellers uh, and stands behind um, scam advertising or scam, um, you know, misrepresentation of a product, From my, in my opinion. Um, so I won't be ordering anything from Wish again. Um, I've got nothing, no option but to keep the board. Um, so uh, I'm not going to bother reviewing it because why would I <laughs> um, waste my time? Um, I'll probably use it for or for a pedal to just keep in the house, but it's of no use to me whatsoever for gigs. Uh, so all that's going to go on that board is pedals I don't use very much. Um, so there we go. Um, my advice, don't order from Wish. Um, and if you do order from Wish, be extremely clear um, about reading the product description all the way through in detail. And if you're not sure what you're getting, don't order it because there doesn't seem to be an option to contact the seller and ask a question. So yeah, don't order unless you know exactly what you're getting. And I would say, go further and say, don't order unless you know the seller. You know, I know some, for example, Music Lily is a product that, a company that I use a lot and trust. And I know that they offer their products on Wish. Um, and I would trust them, you know, to come through on an order. And I know that I would be able to go to them directly and that they'd do something about it. Um, but wish customer support um, just failed to acknowledge the issue. Um, so there we go, that's me. Won't be ordering from Wish again. I uh, certainly won't be ordering one of these products again. Um, or gracing that company with my money or that seller with my money. So uh, you may have your own opinions. By all, leave, by all means, leave comments in the... Um, in the comment box, um, you know, um, I'm sure you, many of you will delight in telling me how stupid I was to order it. Um, thanks, I guess I know that. Um, but I also know that, um, that the product was misrepresented uh, and clearly designed to give people the impression that they were going to receive a bag as well as the board. Um, and whether or not you think uh, that's my own fault, um, it would be wrong of me not to let people know uh, that kind of thing happens so with that I shall say goodbye and um, I've got a couple of things coming up I have I'm about to re review some two things at the same time in a bullet strap I'm going to be reviewing some warm and Texas triple hot pickups uh, which I've just installed 
um, and I'm going to be doing a before and after uh, with the Texas Hot Prick Ups and a Music Lily Brass Block uh, which is on the way um, which is taking out the kind of zinc, I think it's zinc block for tremolo, from the tremolo and replacing it with a full brass shorty block, shorty being um, short enough to fit in the, the cavity of the guitar. Um, so that's coming up and I've got two pedal unboxing demos uh, coming up, one for a uh, Mojo Mojo pedal from TC Electronic uh, and another one from a company called Mosky and it's a um, Proco Rat, Turbo, Turbo Rat clone, so I'm interested to see how that works out, I used to have one of those. So a few of those things coming up and there'll be more stuff in the post um, after that. So. Stay tuned, hit subscribe um, if you want to see some more videos. Thanks, bye.